So why did you decide on an automated male sex toy? That was common sense. That's the kind of masturbation device. At the time, imagine, think 2008, what was mm. for sale that wasn't handheld, right? Yeah. Uh, it was all handheld stuff or like big right. rubber butts and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I just thought, it would, I wasn't even, to be honest, I wasn't a sex toy user really at the time. Mm -hmm. But I just knew if there was a machine that could give you a blowjob, that that's something that men would want. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. I mean, that was just basic. Absolutely. And I looked on the market, like, who's, who's making a good one? And it's like, wait a minute, no one's making a, <laughs> a blowjob machine? Mm -hmm. That's nuts. So I think it was right. just kind of common sense. Mm -hmm. I don't know how no one really put the time into it before, but I think it's because the money was coming to people so easily making garbage yeah. that... They didn't need to do the work. Like it's hard to make a nice hardware. It, it needs a couple right. of years of development per device. Mm -hmm. You need to hire like kind of more expert level people. And it's, and if you could just make, you know, another fake butt, why would you go through the trouble? So that's, I think that was that's the true. mentality of people in, in the industry at the time. And it still is the mentality of, you know, a good percentage because they don't need mm -hmm. to innovate because they have their enough money already, basically.